MTV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. All right, we're coming in with this week's Power Review. Hopefully, we won't be before you long, but it's Season 6, Episode 3, Forgot All About Dre. Let's go ahead and get the YouTube thing e. out the way. If you come back every week, then just <clears throat> know that we thank you. We thank you for e. sticking around. If you have just happened to stumble upon this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. It is free 99. And since we're just in episode three of this season, go ahead and push your bell. That bell will let you know when we come in with yeah. our reviews every week. Since we seem to come in at different times every freaking week. While you're at it, go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Either way, it don't even matter. Yeah. At this point, you've already been counted. I know that's right. So let's yeah. get into it. We're going to hit it. We're going to quit it. We're going to get out your way. Yeah. Because it's the lowest day. <laughs> <laughs> I want to first say I want to thank 50 for bringing back the old God darn intro. Man. Man. Once I'm again, beautiful. we freaking hardcore once again. We ain't soft no more. No pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> we back. I, I don't know what the sudden change of heart. I don't know if it was because we were talking skit about him on social media or it was affecting the paper. I don't know, but I'm glad he did it. Yeah, but let's go ahead and keep that same energy. Didn't y'all see the change we just made? 50, the most yeah. pettiest okay. dude. On social media, <laughs> because we got on that hind pods, he changed it. So let's keep that same energy. Yeah. When we have police brutality. Exactly. When they're not giving us the raises we want on our job. Exactly. Go ahead and keep that same energy and make some changes happen for the exactly. good, and not just the TV show. Exactly. So we pretty much picked up back when we left off last week that uh, Dre is still in witness protection. And they were preparing to go to court so he can testify against Alicia Jimenez. And to our surprise, they got ambushed. Yeah. And I'm like, God darn it. But my whole thing was, don't shoot the baby. That's my thing. Yeah, so I was like, that don't. baby out of there. Yeah, don't shoot. First of all, I don't even know why she was there. I, I don't. I think she should have been somewhere else. I do too. I think yeah, she should have been in another safe house. Exactly. You know, I know Dre wanted his daughter with him, but this ain't your call right now, dude. Your baby can be hit with any bullet or anything yeah. that was coming to target as, you. Exactly. And as we saw, that could have been a reality. I had to turn away because it was just yeah. too much. I said, if I see a baby get shot, <laughs> I'm not going to be right. Yeah. So I'm glad so that they, it happened. So they come in with guns, blasting, shooting. They end up killing everybody. The only one was left was him and Donovan. And I'm like... And the baby. And the baby. And I was like, okay, so what they gonna do now? Yeah, so, like, so we got a chance to get yeah, out there. So Donovan tell him, take the baby, go in the bathroom, because there might be some other ones out there. So Dre sees the one to do on the ground, go grab the gun. And um, Donovan was like, you don't even have to do that. Backup is coming. And he coming in and kicked Donovan gun away. He was like... Donald was like, I just saved your life. I just took a bullet for you. And Dre was like, I ain't asked you to do that. And I was like, hey, we want that buzz. Because he forgot that Donovan had got hit. Yeah, he got hit up here. And his fool ended up killing Donovan, man. I said, why would you do that? I was like, why in the world? But it makes sense. He was trying to get away. He don't want to testify against Alicia, which we already know he afraid. <laughs> but it anyway. had me thinking real crazy. I was like, hold on, did Dre set up this hit? Yeah. Because he's the only one that didn't die, and then you killed the person that was there to protect you. But now I get it now. Because yeah. I was all messed up. I said, like, hold on, who who did who, this? Who, who, who ordered this hit? Yeah. Then I was like, how in the world did they end up finding him? I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I didn't see anything, how they set that up. So I don't know how in the world they knew where he was at. But after all, this office has been screwing up since day one. They, can, they can't get nothing, nothing right. right. That's why I'm like, I don't even want to be in some enemy. I don't want to be in no witness protection because, as we can see, it might not work. No, just get your cousins. Yeah, it might, just might not work. So, we see old Mr. Councilman Tate, Lorenz Tate, Sean <laughs> Tate, finally <laughs> getting himself some bootay. She was... She was she messing was throwing, him up. She was throwing it. She was throwing it on him. So in the midst of him getting some, he gets a call from the DSC chairman that they getting ready to send him a special package because his poll numbers are up. So he thought it was good news. Yeah, so he thought it was good news. So they back over at the campaign headquarters and this lady come busting in the door, find people on the goddamn spot. Da da da, da 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 naming all people name. You got to go. We have no need of your services anymore. 
And I'm like, okay, you, I appreciate you coming in, but you coming in all like that, just find people, not introducing yourself, letting us know who you are. You just find people out the blue, huh? So, come to find out, her name is Ramona Garrity from D.C. That's the package that was sent. The DMV. Yep. All day. And come to find out that she in a sex scandal with her husband, too. I said, oh, <laughs> you fit right in. <laughs> so, her first line of business, she wants to get to know everybody that's a part of the campaign. The first name that comes up <laughs> is Ghost. I said, all oh, hell. And you know, Rashad Tate wanted to separate himself as far to away totally. from Ghost as possible. Exactly. So we see later on the episode where Ghost comes in and asks, asks uh, Councilman Tate, why ain't no work being done on the Queen's Child Project? And, of course, Tate was like, I don't know which way to tell you this. We ain't got no more money. Got no money. You know, we ain't getting the funding that we was promised. So in the midst of him telling that, Ghost ended up seeing Ramona and was like, who is that? I was like, here we go. So he tells her the story. Yo, this, to yo yang. Yeah. So this is such and such. Uh, Ramona Garrity from D.C. She here to help us because they want us to win. So late in the episode, we see old Ramona goes over the truth and meets up with Ghost because she says, I need to get to know everybody that's a part of this campaign, especially you, because you gave a sizable donation. No, you weren't over there for the size of a donation. You wanted to come over there to check out ghosts. You ain't, you ain't freaking slick. And he wanted you to come over there anyway. Check him out too. He was checking you out up there at the headquarters through the window when you didn't even see him. Hmm. So they ain't do nothing this episode, but I got a feeling something. <laughs> said this episode. This episode, but I think we getting ready to see the, the freaking wings on his back that we ain't seen <laughs> in a long time. That's getting ready to come up because he wants to hit that. And she wants something too. Hmm. And how do we know that? Because later on in the episode, we see that they back at the headquarters. He gets to meet the new people that's a part of the campaign. And she was like, we want you and your wife to help us with the campaign. And Ghost was like, well, I need to work alone because I'm having some problems right now. We're going through a divorce. Yeah, we're going through a divorce. She said. And you can see her eyes. Shawty pulled her pants to, to the, the side. side. Told him keep your feelings to the side. And here we see old uh, Mr. Rashad Tate looking all crazy because right. he wanted to keep the keep it separate. And she pulled him goes right and on. And pulled him right on in. So I'm very interested to see exactly where this, this thing, go. yeah, where this gonna go with this lady. Is this really gonna be a gateway for him to win, or this gonna be another piece of puss for ghosts? But I think it's gonna be another piece of puss for ghosts. Either way, <laughs> even if they win, it's gonna be another. He's a to He's gonna get that. You know hear I me? Mean? <laughs> so now, Mr. Jason, I'm sick of Jason. I am too. But like he's in charge of the girls. Yeah, told he is. Yep, in Jason is girls. in charge of the girls. Now, Jason has another problem. He texts uh, Thomas and say, I need you to come here now. Not tomorrow. Now. You need to come here. So, Tommy, the girls come. And he was like, We have a problem. I still don't have the porch from Alicia Jimenez. I don't remember him being promised the porch from Tommy. You know? I, I, I don't I remember, know, I remember don't, this I, whole port talk. I remember the port talk. And I, I had don't... to go to Mike B's channel because yeah. Mike B breaks it down. Shout out to Mike B if y'all yeah. not watching his reviews. He breaks it all the way down. So I had to go to Mike B to understand what the hell was going on with his ports. So we're not going to regurgitate yeah. it because I can't even tell you yeah, what I, happened. I, yeah, well, he want, he want the ports. He don't want it to be messed up. He don't want to deal with no new people. Trying to get his drugs into to LA. So he need them to bring Alicia Jimenez alive to him. From so, federal. From federal. Tom was like, I ain't got no hints. I don't know that she in federal custody. How I'm gonna do that? So we see that it flipped back between him and Ghost. Once again, he planned them against each other and they don't even know it. Gave okay, both of them the same job. Yeah, the same job. So we see later in the episode, we see Tommy and the crew strategizing on how they gonna get Alicia to him alive. So we didn't see the full extent of the plan until it pretty much rolled out. It was but, genius though. Yeah, it was a genius plan, but I was kinda I was kinda shook when when they brought in Keisha. Me too. To be the plant in the bathroom. I was like, she ain't ready. She, she ain't, knew she wasn't ready. Yeah, she ain't she ain't ready. So 
when it came time to execute the plan, when she was going up to the courthouse, you could see, I'm like, you already look guilty. You yeah. ain't even in here yet. I was like, what? So we see Alicia goes into court. And I guess they brought in Dre prematurely because they brought him like, get him out, get him out. Um, and she gave him a little smirk. And he was still afraid. Because I don't think she knew that Dre was the person that was going to testify against her. Oh, she didn't? I don't think she knew that. Oh. I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure. Don't yeah, get into it. Yeah. So I don't know. So we see this, this the black dude in there give them a cup of water. I was like, what's in that water, man? What's in that water? So she, they both take a swig of the water. She kills over. She tore up. I was like, oh. That's how they don't get in the bathroom. But I thought that they gave her some kind of laxative <laughs> to make her have to go to the bathroom. They drugged her too. They drugged her. And that dude got paid 10 racks, man. To, to put a volume in her glass. Would you done that for 10 racks? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just volume. It'll work on. <laughs> so, she stones off. They take her to the bathroom. Get in there. One of the stalls are out of order. He didn't even check that one. I was like, I know this is not real because they would have still checked that one in real mm -hmm. life because it looks it looks suspicious for it to be out of order and you mm -hmm. didn't check it. You you know you can go down the bottom and look underneath for that. He tried to do that, but she was standing on the toilet. Yeah, he was lazy. Yeah, but anyway, so she coming in, she throwing up. Uh, Keisha hit time and say she in here, and here they come <laughs> as the fake paramedics. I was like, oh, what? okay. I was like, what? So I was like, uh, but who called y'all? Yeah, who called y'all? And why didn't they verify? Y'all in a federal building. And y'all just everybody out. gets needs clearance before you get in there. Y'all didn't. They didn't call to check to make sure these are official paramedics. And so y'all just came in to scoop somebody up. Yeah, and took them. You got the America's most wanted lady <laughs> in federal custody gets sick all of a sudden. Goes to the bathroom and paramedics come and was able to snatch her up that easy. Only on TV, Mike. And hand delivered her to Jason. So they they screw her on out there, and that's when Ghost sees that they both work in the same job. Cause I don't even know what Ghost plan was. He was he like was the doing elevator. Yeah, he was like the maintenance man on the elevator. I was like, so how was you planning on scooping her out of there again? <laughs> I don't know. So, but it was funny when they saw each other. When Ghost and Tommy saw each other, like, like the hell? It's like, so, yep, y'all both on the same job. So we see uh, Jason is back talking to Alicia and was like, "Let me know what's 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 the connections." You know, asking for all this information. She was like, "Can I get a smoke?" <laughs> That was the best drag she yeah. ever had in her life. <laughs> I mean, she leaned back with it. I said, go ahead, Alicia. Now, I was like, you know, you know, Jason, she won't about to give up that information. Nothing. And he knew she won't. She know, And he put a bullet in her head. And Tom was like, you have me to go through all of this for you to end up killing him. Like, yup, that's Jason for you. Mm -hmm. So Jason put you and Ghost at risk. He said he had a job to finish. Yeah. It's psychopath. And he ended up after the job, he's still texting Ghost and said, I still need that payment. Because you know he was going to waive that payment. What payment? Yeah, he was going to waive one yeah, payment. Like Finger Hut. <laughs> yeah, I remember Finger Hut. Yeah, so I, I still need need that payment though. So we see later uh, in the episode, we see that uh, Tommy gives Keisha a tour of the drug game, schooler. Show her how much he make on the pills. But of course, the fellas over there checking out the backside, mm -hmm. getting a look at him. And he was like, uh, Do you want to catch a bullet like such and such? You better keep putting must keep your eyes to yourself. The other guy, Spanky, looked like he was ready to risk it all, though. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I don't get that by no bullet. <laughs> and again, like we said, Keisha is, Keisha is definitely not ready for the drug game. And speaking of the drug game, freaking um, Tariq's. Uh, Baby drug dealers, amateur drug dealers, they done sold up all the pills. That's I was scary. Like, yeah, they done sold them all. So they looking to get a re-up. Tariq ain't got no more pills. Say, so I got to go back to New York this weekend to re-up. And I was like, who you going to re-up yeah. with? Because y'all remember, he got those pills from Canaan. Which, he's dead. So I was like, I know he ain't fitting to go ask Tommy for it. Because mm -mm. Tommy don't even know what he's doing. 
So he goes back to New York, goes into uh, Rainer's room. I guess we have a little bit of extra stash, um, whatever it was in the closet, and uh, takes that little bit back to them. It was like, this is it. I said, darn, that's to your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you, you better take what you can get right now. So we see uh, that he ended up talking to uh, the other girl. Uh, I think when it was Nephi. Yeah, Nephi. And come to find out that they have two similar stories that her brother got killed and she read in the paper about his sister getting killed. So they kind of had a, a little moment there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I got a feeling that she won him more yeah, than, yeah. They she won did. each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that they think that she works undercover or she works with somebody, but I don't know. I, I got to keep my eye on old Nephi. Yeah. And that's what they were saying in the comments. But she did ask a question that kind of had me like, she's like, who is your connect? It's like, nobody no, asked that. Yeah. Nobody asked anybody that. But she is an amateur too, though. So, yeah, let's chalk it up to that. We'll, <laughs> yeah. keep, we'll keep an eye on them. Yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that. So, uh, we saw one part in the episode where Tommy and uh, uh, Tasha was in the car smoking weed. <laughs> I'm getting Talk, uh, Taking highs and kite talking about their money problems. So Tommy asking uh, Tasha to help him. He's like, I can't help you. I, I ain't got no money either. I need to try to figure this out because he's trying to figure out how he can clear this money so he can pay off Jason for this uh, last uh, shipment. So Tasha, we see Tasha go home and her mama got a house full of kids. So, yeah. she, so she was started a daycare in a matter of seconds and was making some paper off of it. So she come in there and mom was like, oh, first you come in here late and then you come in here smelling like weed. <laughs> <laughs> and Jazz was like, Mama, you smell funny. And I said, go on in that somewhere, sit your mouth across there. Just a little herbal. So, Tasha seen uh, her mama getting the paper from the, I guess the moms for watching the kids, and, and her bell started going <laughs> off. So, she started talking to her mama like, uh, you know what, maybe we should start, you know, a business, you know, daycare business. And her mama was like, hmm, that might sound like a good idea. But maybe if you got your marriage right, I could retire. I could retire. I was like, hey, we go on that booze on that no, booze again. Mm -hmm. But it's so funny, like you rather for your daughter to suffer through being cheated on so that you can have a better life. What kind of skit is that? She's a pro she's a pimp. Yeah, where your man at to take care of you? Hmm. Huh. He, he, you know what he did in loving basketball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was messing with them hoes that was getting through with the basketball team, yeah. right? So you already know how I went. <laughs> While she at home making them cakes. Yeah. So we see uh, later in the episode that Tasha ends up meeting with uh, Ramona and uh, Councilman Tate because they need to convince her to act to continue to play house so they can mm -hmm. look good for the cameras. So she ended up getting a deal where she's going to get a permit for her daycare hmm. and she's going to get an expedited freaking inspection to get this thing off the ground. And that. Councilman Tate was kind of like kind of stalling and stuttering a little bit. She, but Ramona was like, deal. Yeah, let's let's do it. And I said, okay, Tasha. I was like, God don't. I said, that's what you do. They need you. You need that. Let's make a deal. Let's, let's do let's it. Let's make a deal. That's, that's how you do it. And... Pretty much at the end of the episode, we see where Ghost calls Tommy and be like, uh, we need to work together. I said the same old line again. Every time they split up, they need to come back together. They to, do. To fix stuff right. In which I think Tommy declined. He don't, he don't want to do it. But at this point, he needs to do it. Because Jason's going to keep on playing them. And they say, you know, are they all going to be locked up? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that I think pretty much Tommy is just pretty much prideful right now, and because I, I don't think, think that he needs Ghost right now because but she does. Keisha don't agree to let him clean money through her salon again. Yeah, but she wants to do the cleaning because she feels like since she did that little thing that she knows the game and she knows how to do it. So I don't need to put Tasha in my business. I'm like Keisha, you ain't ready. You are not ready. Yeah, and I, you need some other experience, think, man. I still think that Tommy is going to. <clears throat> do things behind Keisha's back because he knows she's not ready. Yeah. Because he not going to buck up his business fooling around with you nah. just because he smashes you every night. And he not going to cut ties with Tasha. Nah. That's family. If he does, I will be really surprised. I will be. Which I which I don't think they are. They not going to they not going to cut ties. But let's talk about Dre real quick. Because <laughs> Dre thought that because 
he was able to weasel his way out of federal, that he got away. Yeah. Mm, mm mm. And the deal to protect your hind parts is now off. Yeah, cause. So now, what's his name? Um, Sax. Yeah. Now Sax wants him to. First, he asked him, "Say, I need you to tell me who killed." Um, no, what's the child name? God don't. Uh, we know. Ghost girl. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, y'all know. God <laughs> don't. It's too late for this. Angela. Angela. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know who the hell did that. So now they want Dre to turn over on Ghost. Ghost. Well, that's not hard. So, of course, you know, Tom Tony this hot was looking like, you're great. I said, oh. But they, but they use his daughter against him. Daughter against mm -hmm. him. And you know, that's his heart right there. So, so I said, oh, we got the rat back on out there now. Yeah. I was trying to figure out a way that they were going to bring um, <clears throat> Dre back. Because I was like, there's no way that... We're going to put Dre into federal custody and the protection and then and he kind of just back. goes away and we don't ever see Dre. No, Dre is, Dre is that motherfucker that hate on this show. So I knew at this last season we was going to see some yeah. Dre. I said, okay. So we got him back and everybody was like, why, where he at, where he at? He here. But we, I, I forgot to hit on this when he killed Donovan. He killed Donovan right in front of his daughter. She won't even, he didn't have her cut up. She watched it. And she didn't even flinch. I said, oh, we don't bread a kill. Yep. I'm going to see a killer too. <laughs> we don't bread a kill. I said, God, Joe. So I, I, I really don't know where we're going to go from here. Um, I am kind of hoping that Tommy and Ghost work back together again. I, I, I hope they come back together. But, you know, as we see, Ghost is still trying to be out the, out the, out the drug game and he keeps going getting drug back in. So, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Holla!